Hi, my name is Dalvan Alpha, and I'm sitting here with my friends Muhammad Fadilugraha and we are from BPI1 Senior High School. Today, we're, we're going to explain to you about our project that is measuring carbon dioxide level at BPI1 Senior High School using Arduino Kit. COVID-19 pandemic has become a main problem of for all kinds of people, including education institutions. Since this pandemic broke out, the school has been closed indefinitely. As a result, the class became online so that activity in school is reduced. The situation obviously affects the air quality of school. One of good indicators of air quality is when we see from amount of carbon dioxide in gas in the air. Carbon dioxide gas in room temperature is gas that have no color, has no smell, and not flammable. Carbon dioxide gas is produced by combustion and metabolic process of living organism. Besides that, carbon dioxide is also generated from the cell surface from decaying vegetable or chemical change in bedrock. Research show moderate level of carbon dioxide can cause headache and fatigue, whereas at high concentration can cause nausea, dizziness, and vomiting. A level of carbon dioxide is a fact of health is shown in the following table. In the market, a lot of commercial products of carbon dioxide gas condensation gauge, but they sell with expensive price, mostly above 5 million rupees. This is, of course, make us think how assembly such device with a relatively cheap price. Based on the journal we met on journal chemical education, the measurement of carbon dioxide gas level is relatively cheap using Arduino. In that journal, we use MHZ19B sensor, measures data is stored in the micro SD card. Then we modify the device so the level of carbon dioxide, besides being able to be stored in the SD card, it can, so, uh, it can also be displayed on this LCD. Besides that, we can also measure the air temperature using the sensor. Therefore, it is necessary to conduct research on the air quality in our school, one of which is by measuring carbon dioxide gas levels using an Arduino kit with MHZ19B sensor. Now, I'm going to explain to you about the technical description of this project, starting with the tools and the materials we use in this project. In this project, we use materials like Arduino, MHZ z 19 b sensor, motherboard, micro SD module, screen projector, RGB light, male to male and male to female jumper wire, Arduino Uno cable, and a switch. And for the tools, we only use a laptop for programming the Arduino and for the main power of the sensor. Now I will explain about the project procedure. First, after we have all the tools and the materials, we start assembling the tools, connecting all the materials to the Arduino with the right direction. After that, we program the Arduino by coding it until the tool can work as desired. Then we test it until the tool works perfectly. Now, we will make the case for the sensor. We are using a plastic case because it is light and can be modeled easily. And after the case done, we are ready to do some research. The principle of this device is the sensors is measuring the carbon dioxide and the temperature of the air. And that from, from these sensors is processed by Arduino and gonna show in this LCD and gonna write in this micro SD. So if we use this micro SD, this micro SD, if we look in data, there's our and Excel files that can we look about how much the amount of carbon dioxide and if we use at the monitor can it can be shown the time and the carbon dioxide level and also the temperature of the air. So the principle is that you can use two ways to look it, to look the besides from the LCD and we use at this micro SD. So that's the principle of this device. Here we measure the carbon dioxide level in four points, namely the air conditioned room, 
The second is non-air conditioning room. The third level is front of the school gate or in the sidewalk. And the fourth point is the literacy park. Why do we measure it at these four points? It's just because these four points represent our room state in our school. We take the measurement in each point minimally 10 minutes. Based on the observation chart, we can see that each point has a different trend of curve. In the room with non end conditioner, we use chemistry lab, 5 minutes on the first visible readout is not so stable because there, there's still a change. 5 minutes later, the graph decreases and the level of air, the air of carbon dioxide in the range of 340 to 345 ppm. This shows that the room was good air circulation even though there's no air conditioning but many windows open. The second experiment we carry out the air conditioned room. Seen in the early minutes, it was seen that the reading was not so stable. The next minute, it started to stabilize. The grab trend was increasing. This showed that in the room of has a good air conditioning even though the window is closed. Not a lot of people there, so that's the peak end of the measurement in, is in the range of 340 ppm. This is a good number of good air. The third experiment, ex the third experiment was carried out in the front of the our school gate. As before, the initial minute showed an unstable measurement. In this in this last five minutes, there's uh, this. Okay. Okay. Like so the third the third experiment we carried in the front of our school gate. As before, the initial minute showed an unstable measurement in the next minute. There is an up and down trend chart. This shows that carbon dioxide level in that area are unstable. Many factors made this happen. This condition that at that time were not jammed. If look busy and smooth. In addition, in that area, there are many large trees where there is a good air desperation However, at the end of the peak measurement level increased around 350 ppm. The fourth experiment we carried out in a park literacy, where there's not a lot of people but a lot of men. So it can see the grip is decreased and stabilized in range of 320 ppm. The air, the air in this area that have the lowest carbon dioxide level compared to the others. Based on the measurement at this four point, we conclude that the air quality in our score is very good with low carbon dioxide levels is in the range 320 to 360 ppm. According to data on ASHRAE, there's a number that has a good air quality. Of course, the main factor that causes good air quality is the almost activity in school is the dust, which is the effect of COVID-19 pandemic. In addition, the tools that we assemble has fairly cheap price that lasts 1 million. Of course, there is a profitable alternative. The sensor that we have fairly good seductivity and sensitivity with a range be in a range between 0 to 5,000 ppm. If you buy a tool with this specification that have fairly high price above 5 million. That is all from us. We're gonna say thank you and goodbye and see you in the next project.